welcome to Kids Academy. Hi, and welcome to the Kids Academy Chess Course. My name is Robert Lazorczak, and I'm a certified teacher with international and national chess teaching certifications. I will be your guide as we begin to master this great game. Now let's get to the chess. Hey Kids Academy, it's Coach Rob, and I'm here today to talk to you about the chess board and learn three very important chess vocabulary words. The first word we're going to learn today is a word that means side to side. But instead of saying side to side, or instead of saying rows in chess, we use the word rank. Can you say the word rank for me? Very nice, rank. And now say rank and move your arm side to side, rank. This is side to side, and on the chessboard, there are eight ranks moving across the board. Rank is our word for row. The second vocabulary word I want to teach you today is file, and file is the word we use instead of columns or up and down. We can say moving along the file. If you put them together, we have ranks and we have files. There are also eight files in chess going up and down the board. And here they are, seven and eight. And the last word that every chess player needs to know about is diagonal. Bishops move diagonally, queens can move diagonally, pawns capture diagonally. And diagonally means through the corner or on the slant. So here I'm moving diagonally with my arm. If you play checkers, you already know what the word diagonal is because all the checkers pieces can move diagonally. In fact, it's the only way they can move. So here we have a very long diagonal. This diagonal is made up of eight squares. And in fact, there are two long diagonals on a chessboard, one on the light squares, one on the dark squares. There are also many other diagonals. I see a short diagonal here made up of three squares, one, two, three. Let's see, here's a short diagonal here on the dark squares, one, two, three. But speaking of ranks and files and diagonals, let's take a moment to talk about the actual chessboard. So the chessboard is a square, and within the square there are 64 smaller squares. Half of them are light, half of them are dark. A lot of chessboards I see, the light squares are represented by the color white, and dark is either blue, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's black. Really, the chessboard can be any two colors, so long as we have a light complex and a dark complex. We refer to the light squares, it could be white or yellow, whatever it may be, as the light colors, and the dark squares, if it's blue or green or black, as the dark squares. So in chess, we have a chessboard that's a square, and there are 64 squares inside, half of light, half are dark, and they alternate in this pattern, a light square followed by a dark square, a light square followed by a dark square. This will help us make our diagonals, this will help us make our ranks, this will also form our files. Now, whenever you sit down to a chessboard, it's very important that there's always a light color square on the right-hand corner. So, the white player would start with the light on the right. The black player would also have a light square on the right side. And this will help you set your pieces up um, on the correct starting colors and the correct starting squares, which might not seem relevant right now, but once you start playing chess, you will see that it really does make a big difference on how the pieces start and the color square they start on. So today in this video, we learned about ranks moving side to side. We learned about files or a word for columns, and we learned about diagonals. We also talked a little bit about the chessboard, how it's a square and there are 64 squares inside of that square. And it's very important when you sit down to the chessboard, both players have a light color square on the right hand side. There are eight ranks, there are eight files, there are many diagonals, but only two long diagonals, and they each have eight squares apiece. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.